Welcome back to my channel everyone. I hope you all are doing well. I am here to do a tutorial for you today. I had posted a picture of some of these rosettes on my Instagram page and I have been getting a lot of questions about them. Um, if you check my previous video, I did a VR for Carolina's, who's Carolina's Crafts on YouTube. She is having a birthday challenge giveaway and I created some of these for her. So I've been getting a lot of questions about them what kind of a dye it is and um, if I can show how to make them but it isn't a dye it is an embossing folder and this is the set that came with it I will go over them individually with you guys and show you some examples of what they look like now originally um, the reason why I got this set was because I was so sick and tired of pulling out my scoreboard to create rosettes and so I got online and I started searching to see if there was anything else available out there because I didn't have any dyes, any um, uh, rosette dyes at the time. So I found these uh, Griffin ones online on eBay. And so I purchased them. They are no longer available, sad to say. I think they came out about five years ago and they're just, you can't find them anywhere anymore. Sorry about that. So they are called Anna Griffin Cuddlebug 12 inch paper tricks emboss folders. And um, they come in a set of eight, as you can see. Let me just show them to you. This is the one I was talking about. They're very wide, they're huge. So that's how long this one is. And when I use this one, I used to cut it down, uh, my, my paper strips, I would cut them down to whatever size I wanted. I don't think I've ever made one as wide as this because this is about, this is a little less than six inches wide and they're 12 inches long like I said so there's that one and then this one here is wider these these score lines are much wider apart so for this one if you wanted to make a whole rosette you would probably need about four of these to make one rosette and then this one here this one reminds me of drapery pleats um, this one is called the Fancy Folded Smocked Border. I don't have a sample of that one. This one here is called Fancy Fold Banner and Corner. And I do have a sample of that one. So when you, when you use that, it, the strip looks like this. And there's two. There's another set that went here that I've already cut out to make this one. So this is what this one looks like. Okay, and then you would cut here to get this effect right here. So it already has score lines and everything for you. So this is what that one looks like. And then this one here is called the Fancy Folded Diagonal Border. And this one is probably one of my favorites. This one looks like this. And it is so pretty. I've used double-sided paper for it. And if you guys wanted to, you could just stitch all the way across here for that extra detail. And when you create these, you have to um, put adhesive on this side and on this side, otherwise they'll curl up. So that's what this one looks like. Love this one. And then this one here, this one is called the Fancy Fold Two-Way Border. And this this is what this one looks like I didn't adhere this one but just to give you an idea I pre-folded it so that's what that looks like and these are similar to the ones that the vintage goose created that everybody's using that's an easier way to do it this one is called the fancy folded box pleated border and this one is really easy too I left this one undone but this is what it looks like and then you just pull that up and then that would create another pleat for you there super easy to do fun love it and then this one here is the one that I used to create this and I'm going to show you how I did that so I've already gone ahead and embossed it and I've already started folding it so this is what it looks like when you emboss it and when you put it in here and I've cut this one down to an inch and a quarter. This is actually uh, about the finished one would be about an inch and three quarters. 
And what I did was I cut mine down to an inch and a quarter. And when you put it in here, you have to make sure, if you have this set, make sure that your paper is at the edge, like right at the tip of that point. Okay, these points here, you gotta make sure that your paper is right at the edge. All right? You don't want it to go past, like don't don't push it past that, otherwise it won't come out right. Okay. So I started folding it on the score lines. Okay, so you, you're gonna practically fan fold it like you do any other normal rosette. Okay, so this is how it goes. I already started it. Just push that in and fan fold, push it in, fan fold. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to fold this up like that. Fold it up, press, fold it back, press, and push that in. Push this corner in right here and pinch. Okay, do it again and pinch. Okay. So I'm going to do the rest of this off camera and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like done. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you get it all pleated. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that this point right here at the end is actually at a point and there's no excess paper on the end. If there is, just trim it off until you get to the point. Okay, make sure there's a point. Okay, and then you're going to take it, I'm going to turn this around so you can see better. You're going to take it and you're going to fit it over this edge right here, like that. Now, as you guys can see, there's a lot of bulk there. You don't want all that bulk. So what I do is I trim off like from here and then down this score line here, and that eliminates a lot of the bulk. So let me get my scissors. I'm going to show you that right now. Just trim this off and I do it on I trim off this side of the score line okay trim that off and then fit it again and you'll see that it's so much better and it eliminates that bulk okay so I'm going to get some hot glue I'm going to glue that oops it's a bit much and just fit it right on there. Let's get rid of some of that excess glue. Okay, and just hold it. Okay, and that's what it looks like. So then you're gonna take it and you're gonna put the part that that has that fancy pleat you're going to put that down on your desk okay and then you're going to take everything else and you're going to push it to the middle until it pushes out okay so that's what you're going to do and then you're going to i let it pop up just a little bit like this i can't i don't know if you guys can tell but it is popped up I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to put it in that little well. It's like a little well in here. Okay. And I'm going to get my fancy silicone stick here and I'm going to push this down. Spread it out properly. And then I'm just going to hold it with this. Now you guys can try and use this, but I find that I still get a little too much heat using these from the Dollar Tree. But you guys can use it anyways if, if that works for you. But I find that this works. I, th I can't remember where I got this. I might have gotten it off of Amazon. So just hold that down for a little bit. And then you can get your little centerpiece, whatever you want to use. And since I have one hand only, I'm going to put it, put some hot glue here. I'm going to stick this on. 
and hold it for a few seconds. And there you have it. There's your rosette. You can just and that's how it goes. Really easy, really pretty. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And uh, I don't know if you guys can figure I think somebody said Brittany BBC, um, <laughs> BBC, BB's Crash. I think she said that she had a silhouette file. So you might want to check the silhouette store and see if they have something like this. But if not, you might have to create your own. But it's not impossible. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, just let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.